Today we're with Zach Couch, the at-risk species biologist here at the Department of Fish and Wildlife. What'd you bring here with us? Today we've got a uh, northern slimy salamander. Are these pretty common here in the state of Kentucky? They are. They're uh, probably one of our more common salamanders that we have in the state as long as you're east of uh, Barkley Lake. I've seen quite a few lures exactly like this. I'm assuming fish eat these? Well, this is actually a completely terrestrial species. Okay. It never gets either as a egg, larvae, or adult. It never comes in contact with water. It's found a lot of times under rotten logs or uh, some real wet leaves, stuff okay. like that out in the woods. So tell me something interesting about this particular species. Well, it's called a slimy salamander for a reason. It exudes this uh, stuff, and you can see it on my hand here, it kind of sticks to your hand, oh, and yeah. it's, a, it's a predator defense. So if something tries to eat it, this thing kind of gums it up. Essentially, it's not really very palatable, and okay. most of the time, whatever's trying to eat it will spit it out. We also have lizards here in the state of Kentucky. What's the mm -hmm. difference between a salamander and a lizard? Well, the easiest way to do it is look at its skin. If it's a uh, real shiny, slick skin like this, it needs to stay wet. Uh, okay. It's a salamander. If it's got scales, then it's a lizard. Okay. Uh, you know, and sometimes you got salamanders and lizards in, in the same area, so you really mm -hmm. got to kind of look at one to tell what it is, right. right? Yeah, salamanders, just from the fact that they've got that real slick skin on them, you know, they, you'll usually find those in wetter areas, whereas okay. a uh, lizard will be more in a dry upland area. Okay. Is this a good indicator for overall health of the environment if you have good salamander populations? Yep, absolutely. Uh, salamanders are pretty intolerant to uh, a lot of disturbance, so if you have a good mature forest that's uh, got a lot of leaf litter underneath of it, some mm -hmm. old dead decaying logs, you'll find you an abundance of salamanders. All right, fantastic. Well, thanks for bringing it out and uh, showing it to us today. Absolutely, happy to.